Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another day in the life of a Pokemon school student. We are still knocking out some of these classes and today we are gonna start languages with Mr. Salvatore. We can't be tardy. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. My dear students, how are you all today? Feeling good, I hope. Je m'appelle Salvatore. My name is Salvatore. Merci beaucoup, that is. Thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I'm so hero or happy for this chance to re-experience my younger days. Do you know what Salvatore means? It means savior. So just imagine I'm here to save you. Now that's a little weird, but okay, buddy. That's right, my class will teach you about various languages. You may say good morning or hello as greeting, but people from elsewhere might say bonjour or salut. I've heard there's even a popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together and says, hello, hello, hola. There are so many regions out in the world and each can have their own unique languages. Gracias, merci. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. Arigato, danke. Uh, it's all thank you. Whoa, Dan, was it? Bravo, that's correct. And speaking up is important in language learning. Gracias, merci, shishi, all thank you. Despite meaning the same thing, their lengths and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? And now, a propos of nothing, let me give you all one of my wise words. When you travel abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as you can, even if you can't speak it very well. I'm sure your willingness to try will make people you meet treasure. Honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the local language will get you pretty far. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and gesture away. Oh, that's the pesky bell. I guess that's all. Well, adios. See you later, everyone. I was going to try to pronounce it, but I didn't want to butcher it. All right. One class down. I think like five more to go. Uh, or two more. Uh, you like languages? Yep. Or no, I think there's like five more. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. Also, I'm a little under the weather, so I may not read all of this. Apologies in advance. My dear friends, how are you all today? Feeling absolutely fantastic. It's time for Salvatore's language lesson. Etef vu pretz. Are you ready, everyone? You can answer yes or we. Oui. We. Oui. Sesupa. In your last class, I believe I taught you all how to say thank you. In le corps de jundwis, uh, today's class. Oh my gosh, I need to stop reading the other languages. Uh, delicious. Whoa, correct. Says super. I knew you could count on you, Dan. All these words mean delicious. Using the local word for delicious at markets or restaurants is sure to get a big smile from whomever you're talking to. It'll make communication go more smoothly. People love it when someone says their cuisine in their homeland is delicious. Who wouldn't be happy to receive a compliment? And now, let me give you all one of wise words of advice. The first step to smooth communication, give a compliment. Yeah, of course, we know that, right? Spread the kindness, spread the happiness. Uh, it doesn't apply to other people in the regions. Okay, well, thank you. How about you all try comp complimenting each other after class? I bet it will make for ambience plus sympath sympathique? Sympathetic? Wait. Oh, I see. It would make us more sympathetic? Okay, I guess that makes sense. All right, on to our next class. We're just going to plow through these classes. This way we can get back out in the Poke world as a Poke School graduate get back into the story, get back to filling up our Pokedex, and uh, get ready for the DLC that's coming out very, very soon, or at least wave one is. My dear friends, how are you? All right, what do we got today, sir? It's with that sassy look. <clears throat> Edvu Pretz, are you ready? Uh, yes. We. Oui. Trade bien, very good. My lessons are not a one-way street. Uh, very sad. Okay, thank you. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say delicious in other languages, right? 
in the clue de aujourd'hui, we will learn how about very special phrase that you can, <clears throat> excuse me, put to use when that time is just right. Je t'aime, te amo. Does anybody know what these phrases mean? I love you. Oh no, I totally hit that by accident. No, I know that means I love you. Oh shoot. All right, well, Mr. Salvatore is probably not gonna like us anymore uh, because they're all quite famous ways to say, I love you. Oh my, have I embarrassed you all, my friends? It's very important to express your feelings about things to others, you know? This is especially true for positive emotions. If you get married someday and argue with your spouse over some silly little thing, all you have to do is apologize and say, I love you. And all will be well than is. Okay, <laughs> Pokemon dishing out the relationship advice. I like it. Uh, but I was quick to say sorry and all is well. And now, let me give you one of my wise words of advice. It's best to be quick to apologize when you have an argument with someone. That goes for your family's friends and your crushes. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Our next class, midterm exam already, buddy? All right, well, I'm probably gonna fail this, but hopefully not miserably or not embarrassingly that I have to retake it, but I'm ready. I'm ready. We just gotta remember, Shitem and Teyamo does not mean I like to eat or tasty, whatever it was that we accidentally hit, and it means I love you. Uh, yes. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. Okay. Today we take our midterm exam. Let's begin. Gracias, arigato, merci, and shishi all share the same meaning. What is it? Thank you. Which of the following means delicious? Uh, delicio? Right? Yeah. Uh, which of these phrases doesn't belong? Uh, time to eat. We know that, right? See, we remembered. Time to eat. When speaking with a person, what is the first step to smooth communication? Compliment them. Uh, what is your beloved teacher's name? Salvatore. Sefini, time is up. I hope that was easy enough for you, especially that last question. I'm sure you all did great. Uh, you can check your scores. Thank you. All right, let's see how we did. It was great to get the test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three questions, four questions, say you did your language test. You answered five out of five. Sweet. That's a passing score. Oh, thank you. Do we get anything? Five candies. All right, I guess... Do we just keep going? How did you like the midterm exam? You all did really great. We're halfway there, and now time for another lesson. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Try bon response. My friends, I knew I can count on your stars. Leading up to the midterm, we learned all sorts of words from different regions. Starting today, though, I'll be throwing a curveball. Is he speaking Pokemon? Pick up he? As you just heard, Pokemon can also use words to communicate. It's not always easy for us to understand them, but their words have meaning, just as ours do. Pokemon can use language to share all kinds of information with each other. Got it. Like the location of food or predators. And what it wants to say. I'm uh, curious. Let's learn some Pokemon language. Okay. If you would be so kind, Pikachu. What emotion do you suppose Pikachu was trying to convey just now? Uh, happiness? What? What do you mean? Using an angry voice? Then why is it smiling? Oh my gosh. Pikachu and Salvatore are out here gaslighting us. Uh, same Pokemon can even communicate its feelings in many different ways. Their voices change depending on their mood. Try listening more carefully to Pokemon. You might gain a deeper understanding for them. Uh, Pokemon are quite mysterious creatures. Some actually don't communicate with words at all, but instead use their electromagnetic or ultrasonic waves. Some even use tele telepathy. Uh, let me give you yep, advice. If you poke at your Pokemon too many times while watching them during picnics, they'll get mad at you like Pikachu just demonstrated. With a smile. Oh, uh, well, adios. See you later, everyone. All right, well, that class was miserable. Hopefully the next one goes easier and hopefully this final or another midterm exam is not as brutal. 
with these Pokemon languages. So what we got today, madam? Uh, we're gonna take languages five. Uh, yes, and let me guess, don't be tardy, right? Class will begin soon. My dear friends, how are you all today? I hope you're all doing marvelously well. It's time for another of Salvatore's languages lessons. Uh, yes. I would expect no less from my excellent friends. Even your replies to my questions are excellent. We will once again, okay, more Pokemon stuff, which I guess makes sense, right? It's a Pokemon game. <laughs> Uh, as you may remember from our last class, the same Pokemon cries may sound different. Uh, we will be learning more about the language used by Pokemon. Alright, I'm listening. See, he's smiling. Sounds a little bleak, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so is he sad? Is that what you're trying to say? Whew, okay. I now officially speak Pikachu. It's expressing sadness kind of makes you want to cry. Uh, I had my little Pikachu cry as if it was crying. Uh -huh. Funny joke. Uh, don't you think it did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause. And now, let me give you my... Oh, that's it? That was a quick class. If you hear one of your Pokemon making sad noises like this one, you should treat them with even more kindness than usual. Well, you probably already knew that though. A piece of cake for you all, I'm sure. Of course, this goes for your classmates. Friends should support each other in times of sadness. Yep. I kind of like him, but he's also, I feel like being passive aggressive <laughs> towards us when I get questions wrong. Totally my fault though. All right, good morning, madam. I would like to take language six, please, with Mr. Salvatore. And don't worry, we will not be tardy. My dear friends, how are you all today? It's time for the last of Salvatore's language lessons. Et vous prêt? We. Oui. What a response. Great answer, that is. And today we will once again be having a listening lesson. Vazi, go for it, my assistant. Hello, Pikachu. What will you be gaslighting us into thinking how you're feeling today? Oh, can you feel that? What emotion do you suppose Pikachu is trying to convey? Uh, happiness? Well done, Dan. I'm so happy that you got it. When Pikachu says... It's expressing happiness. Doesn't it make you just want to break out and dance? I simply asked it to show you all how it felt. Uh, getting to meet new friends and study together has made me both and my Pikachu happy. And now let me give you advice. As you live your lives, I'm sure you will have times when you get mad or sad, maybe even more than you'd like. Everything has its ups and down, but in the end, that is, there is surely, okay, keep a smile on your face. Okay, so happy-go-lucky stuff. I kind of like that, I'm not gonna lie. It's nice to get some small pearls of wisdom, tidbits uh, of life from Pokemon. Cause you know, it's Pokemon. And hopefully Mr. Salvatore's life advice will carry us into what I'm assuming is going to be the final exam now that he said that was the last class. So class will begin soon. Let's not be tardy. Let's take up this final exam and uh, yeah, wrap up another class here at Pokemon School. Hello, we take our final exam. Relax, that is, and do your best. Let's begin. Which of the following means delicious? Uh, delicio. What do these two foreign phrases mean? I love you. Based on what you heard, what emotion do you think Pikachu was expressing? Mm, let's go with anger. It sounded a little angry. Uh, based on what you just heard, I want to say it's happiness. What is your beloved teacher's name? Salvatore. Wait, did that say Sildor from Lord of the Rings? Was that a little Easter egg right there? Uh, you can get your scores at the school's front desk. It feels great to get a test other way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. Let's get three questions correct to pass. Okay. How'd I do? You answered five out of five questions correctly. Thank you. What's the reward? Five experience candies, medium. 
keep doing your best. We will, we will, but not today. Today is a good spot. Today, ooh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> that is a, is a great spot to end the episode for today. There we go. A little short, but you know what? I'm glad we're taking care of these classes, learning some new things, enjoying it. And you know, once we're all done and we graduate, we can go back and finish our other quest and find our treasure. So thank you all for hanging out. Appreciate the company as always. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, maybe let me know your favorite Pokemon. I'm all Team Lugia. Uh, that is my favorite Pokemon, but I also enjoy Pokemon the movie 2000. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna go. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you very, very soon. So until then, uh, bye bye. <laughs>